Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a day of my life. I am working today. I'm getting some like finalizing some stuff on my website today. I'm getting my guest room ready for a guest today and I'm going to vlog that because it's going to kind of go along with something. It's going to be my um, blog, but it's eight o'clock this morning and I'm gonna make breakfast. I wanted to make like hash browns and eggs and um, bacon. I'm gonna make these baked eggs. These, um, it's a recipe from Melina Ciciotti who is a, um, like a mommy and lifestyle YouTuber. Um, so I'm gonna use her recipe. It says broil for at 475 degrees, but mine just says broil low or high. I'm assuming that's broil high. It also says um, on her like thing it said whipped cream, and I don't know if it was whipped cream or whipping cream that she meant. So this is what the baked eggs look like, and bacon. I'm pretty sure that I like did not do the hash browns right, cause they do not taste like I did them right. They taste raw and gross. So, um, I kind of like messed up on the timing and it's nine o'clock right now and my husband had a nine o'clock client this morning, so he had to go do that. <laughs> um, so my mom's coming over to eat this with me because I made a lot of breakfast and I'm not breakfast, like I, I love breakfast food, but I'm not like a morning eating person. I'm like a breakfast food at like noon kind of person which honestly would have been better timing, which I'm kind of struggling with because I like to have things like done perfectly and I have a lot of anxiety about like things being done perfectly and because I like messed up and didn't get up early enough to like make the food that, that way he could eat it before he left. I'm like struggling with that, honestly. I, I hate the fact that I like didn't have it ready in time and I don't like share that kind of stuff. But I feel like that's important to share because that's real life and real life is I'm like beating myself up right now because that it looks really good. So hoping it tastes really good. So my mom came over for breakfast next week. I'm launching my website so I had her look through it and just like kind of we read through some of the stuff. So I have like two pages of like literature notes to change. She's a writer, so I had her read it through for content. I was thinking about getting dressed for the day before I start work. Oh, my mom's calling me. Hello? Okay, so my mom called me and it's like 11. I haven't been getting started with my day like I should recently. I haven't been getting dressed and ready until like 10.30 and then I'm not like starting work till one and it's just not working. But here it is, 11 o'clock, and I'm not dressed yet. So I'm gonna go get ready, and then I'm going to start on preparing my guest room for a guest, and kind of going through how I go about doing that and what I do. Um, I am writing a blog post about the experience, so I'm not going to talk as much about it as I will, excuse me, I'm not gonna talk as much about it right now as I will in my um, blog post, so. My website launches to one to one. If you um, are interested in how to set up your guest room, please visit my blog. Um, I'm so excited about it. I'm over the moon excited. I've literally been dreaming about having a blog since I was probably like nine years old and I learned what a blog was. Um, but this travel blog specifically, I've been dreaming about since um, like 2019 is when I started it, like this specific blog. I started in 2019, in May of 2019, and now it's almost two years later, and it's happening. <laughs> in case you don't follow me on Instagram, I didn't get my joke. Hi, it's me, your grandma from the 80s, coming at you. I have like a thrifted long time owning, oh, maybe it's not thrifted. Shoot, I actually think it's from H&M. Yeah, it's from H&M. I have an H&M sweater, and then this is um, my mom's, like, from a very, very long time ago. These are my Zara pants, my paper bag denim pants, which are my favorite pants I own. And some 
Fila sneakers. Here I am in my guest room. I have to clean it up. I did strip some of the sheets already. Um, so I kind of have like some loads of laundry to do really. So I have like the sheets that I'm going to finish getting off of the bed. Then I have the comforter I'll wash and then the like towels and stuff like that that I'll wash. I always make sure that the sheets are cleaned and the, um, I always make sure that the sheets are clean and that the like room is set up um, and that this closet door, which is our storage closet, which is where we keep all of our like extra stuff and all the boxes for when we move, all that stuff I keep in there. So I always make sure that that door is closed and that there's something like in front of it just to kind of like make the room seem bigger and not like have like a weird door space because nobody really goes in there when they're guests. But um, I also try to make the room smell nice and just kind of get it ready. She's coming tomorrow evening. So I have today to do these loads of laundry and just to like kind of reconfigure the closet and get things back in there. And then I'm going to rearrange the room. So right now it's set up for two people. So we have the futon out and the bed, but only one person's coming. So I'm going to fix the bed up, put the futon back as a couch, move some things around. Um, we have a plant in here that's normally out in our living room but um the cat kept trying to eat it so i moved it in here so i'm going to try and figure out like a way to configure it to have these the fake plant and then two real plants in this room and then we'll keep going so the first thing to do if you're having guests wash the sheets um and then for the rest of it read my vlog So while I wait for the, actually I'm gonna set a timer, hold on. Set a timer for one hour. So it takes about an hour for the dishwasher, dishwasher? For the washing machine to run through a cycle. Um, so while the guest room sheets are cleaning, I'm going to consolidate my to-do lists for my website. So basically I have a lot to do before I launch next week. So I need to go through and um, write out everything i have to do so i have like a a note on my computer a pdf on my ipad a note on my ipad a note on my three notes on my phone i think and then my paper to-do list and they all have stuff that needs to be done before my website launches so i need to go through and um make those all into one paper list i think i'm gonna do paper just so I can like cross everything off. Um, and then I have to go through and like actually get them done. Cause I have so much to do before I launch and it's crazy. I have so much to do before I launch. I'm just giving her some love cause she was, she did some naughty kitty things, tried to eat some plants. So she got put away in time out for a little bit. So now she needs some attention and some love. Put them up, put them up. <laughs> She's so cute. I wrote my list. I at the moment think that this is everything it's like a page and a little extra little blip i would say probably typical work day for me is uh figuring out how to do things that i've never thought about before um so i switched out the laundry so the sheets are drying and i have about 10 minutes left on that and then I'll move on to continuing with getting my guest room set up. Um, I have some, like a little list of pre-upload website stuff that I'm going to do today that I'm gonna go ahead and get started on. Um, I needed to clean up some of my space on my email, but basically, yeah, that's what I did. Part of what I do for my guest room is I set up a gift basket, like a welcome basket for, you know, it doesn't matter how many times that you've come to my house or what our relation is, if you're coming to stay at my house, I want a gift basket. Um, I try to do like a, uh, well, you'll know the details, more of the details of the gift basket if you want to read my blog post when it's up. But um, I have to think about what I want to put in the gift basket and then we might need to run to the store so I can get stuff for the gift basket. So I'm just going to keep working and then I will 
turn back on the camera when I'm doing more with the guest room. Hi, so it is the next morning. Um, I slept in the shirt I was wearing yesterday. Um, I should have thought to pull out the camera earlier, but because I have like so much stuff to do, um, I got really stressed and when I get stressed, I clean. So I am currently cleaning. Um, I have these tubs with like extra beauty stuff. So I just went through all of my hair care items and um, I like made sure that the little basket I keep, actually I'll just show you, you know. Um, so I have baskets like that and like this and this one has extra like beauty supplies stuff. But I just went through, this is where I keep my hair stuff that like I deal with every day is in this basket. I have like hair ties here and my hairbrush and then I have like some products and I just went through the products and made sure that there's like no repeats. So I have like one detangler spray instead of three <laughs> and the rest of the stuff I put into one of these. And now I'm going through and doing the basically the same thing to my like other types of beauty products. I have this little basket that I used to keep like just sample size things in, but now I'm gonna have all of my face masks in there. Um, and I have some other ones that are in my other bathroom that I think I'm gonna bring out. I don't know, I'm still trying to figure it out. But basically what I'm doing right now is I'm going through my beauty stuff. I have this like little thing. I should've taken a before picture, this looks a lot better. This is pretty cluttered, but a lot of the stuff, like, I'm about to finish these little things. I started using Curology. Didn't notice a difference in my skin. I'll try this around. Um, I have, like, really weird, like, hormonal acne spots. And all the big spots went away. Now it's just kind of, like, scars. But I honestly didn't really notice a difference using Curology. I think that the difference I noticed in my skin having to do around Curology was the fact that Curology has you wash your face twice a day and I hadn't been washing my face twice a day so I think that like washing it more often is what did it not necessarily the products because it didn't happen until like a couple months in I don't know I'm still I'm still on it I think I have a new order coming in February 1st um so I'm still using it. I'm still seeing how it goes. Basically all I did this morning is get up, brush out my hair, put in a headband, and start cleaning. I just got on a kick, I guess. I mean, I cuddled the cat for a while, but now I'm cleaning. And what I just did is I'm going through and I'm reading like ingredients, not ingredients, um, although I probably should read ingredients. I'm looking at um, expiration dates. If it's expired, basically I'm throwing it out. Which is something that I should probably do more often. I don't really use any of these products, but like, I don't want to get rid of them. I don't know. Maybe I should just throw out the ones I don't use. Because I, I don't really use this. I got this when I was like preparing for my wedding. Because I went to a facial, like, uh, what's it called? Um, esthetician. And she said to get this one to help with the acne situation. A lot of face washes I have because like my friends will come in town and I'll be like, oh, use this so that like, if they use it already or if she's like, oh, I use this, do you have it? I'm like, yes, I do. I love like keeping things like that, but it's turning me into like a beauty hoarder. Like I have a huge basket of beauty stuff. This is the push that you needed to go and clean that thing that you've been avoiding. I'm one of those people that cleans when I'm like stressed or upset or like anything. I'm like, I gotta clean. So that's what I'm doing right now. So I went to a store to get some stuff for my guest and um just some like just send this gift card that i had um and i was gonna take my camera with me but i didn't obviously because the last clip you saw wasn't me at the store and then i was gonna film with my camera on my phone but it was full or something i don't know anyways it didn't work so here we are back at my house and I'm gonna give you like a little haul of things that I got so one of the things I got weird just this part looks kind of cool too though I mean it could it could be anything really I could use it for anything so you put ice water in the bottom of this and then you put this thing on top and you put the dip in there and the chips around it and it keeps your dip cold while you host parties which is 
my dreams. So I love that. I also got is this cute little ceramic plant. She just moved into a new apartment. I think this is so cute to go in her apartment. I got a candle because I'm constantly burning through candles. That's funny. That was a joke. I hope you laughed. But it smells really good. It's the um, Evening Bonfire by Woodwick for the guest basket. It is also a candle and it smells really good. It's called Balsam and Spice. I got also for her, also going in the guest, gift basket, is one of these. They're like cleaning cloths for the like for your countertop or like glass anything all you need to do is add water to it and they're super eco-friendly and reusable i have some that go in the yeah it's machine washable and dishwasher safe that's um i have some from grove that i really like but she loves cats so i got her this one with some cats on it which i think is like cute and goes with the green type theme and then i got some maple scones to make and then i got these cinnamon swirl streusel um, which is like a muffin strudel thing. So this is what the gift basket, like the guest basket looks like. Um, but right now I'm on Pinterest and I'm looking for, oh, that's cute. I'm going to save that. If you don't follow me on Pinterest, it's, it's always linked below in the description box. But I had this board a while ago that had a lot of like these kind of quotes, letter board quotes. And I need one that's like a chemistry letter board. She really likes chemistry and biology. Basically, I'm just gonna try and find something like a funny joke or a smart joke or something to put on the board. Um, and then I also lit a candle that smells like vanilla so that the room will smell homey. So yeah, the guest room is pretty much done. I'll give you a little tour in a second. I'm just gonna find a quote and put it on the board. So this is the quote I picked. I think she'll think it's funny. I had to reword it a bit because we ran out of H's. Oh, I got a text from her now. So that is the guest room. And I think I'm gonna end this vlog now because it's been two days and I don't think I'm going to film while my friend is in town. So yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this vlog and how to set up the guest room. My blog launches on 2121. So um, Tuesday, if you want to know like more in detail about how I go about getting ready for a guest and just like the steps behind that um you can follow my blog and subscribe for my coming newsletter um I'm really excited to see my friend tonight I hope that you enjoy this video and yeah I'll see you in my next one bye hi p.s it's actually Monday, not Tuesday, and I've been literally thinking that I had an extra day for like a week. That's actually kind of stressful, but Monday, check out my blog. I will put the website in the description, and you can click on it if you watch this after Monday. All right, bye.